When I was 19 years old, I was the victim of a, a severe head injury. The doctors thought I was going to die. Then they changed their mind and they told my parents I would be a cabbage. That was the exact words that they used to my parents. Fortunately, I recovered much better than they expected. What would my life have been like if that was my future? What, what support was out there for me and, and who, who would have looked after me? What, what would my life have been like? I found out about learning disability nursing and I trained to be a learning disability nurse. I've never really felt like I've been doing enough. So I decided to take that leap of faith and to set up PBS4. So this is the home of uh, three people that we support. Um, the, ha the house is split into three separate flats um, so the people can enjoy their own independence uh, and living individually, um, but they have that nearby support if needed. Hello. Hello, Hi. Rachel. Yeah. We could just make a cup of tea for Rachel, but she she wouldn't get anything from it then. She's been involved and in, it, engaged in doing it. And that, that means that she feels like it's her cup of tea. Um, she's, she's put the effort into making it. She's got that value and that experience. And it's, she's, otherwise she's just sat there waiting for people to bring her stuff and to do things to her and for her. We're trying to get her to do as much as she can herself. Yeah. I want that fever. Hey Juan, he's the champion. Shock. How have you been keeping? I've been doing alright, I've been very busy, mm -hmm. as you know. PBS4 progressed me a lot. They've got 24 hour care in my flat, I've got a two bedroom flat. I cook for myself sometimes. I clean for myself all the time, I do my own toilet, my own shopping. And, but I've got a nice carers and a very strong team. PBS have really helped me on um, progress. Thank you for that Jonathan. I knew how to support people with learning disabilities. I've got lots of experience in that. I've got very little experience in how to run a business. The Lloyds Bank Social Entrepreneurs Programme, uh, which is delivered in partnership with the School for Social Entrepreneurs, has been perfect for me. It's really helped me to um, figure out what I need to do to get my business running. And it's helped me to answer questions that I didn't know how to answer before, like what legal structure do I need for my business and how do I get it up and running? It's very lonely when you're trying to set up a new business and what the course actually gave me was a network of people who were in exactly the same situation as myself. I managed to make friends there and people who were facing the same challenges as me. And I'd like to think that's what we're doing at the PBS4 as well. We're having hope in people, we're being that, that strength for them because they may not recover as, as well as I have, they may not have that voice that I had.